everyone, I waited to the end of the month, but it is time for an Amazon haul. And I found some good things and some things I'm on the fence about. So I'd love for you to watch through the whole thing and let me know what you think are keepers and what wouldn't work for you. So I'm gonna start off with something I found by being influenced by somebody else. So if you are into home decor and DIY, I'm not into DIY, but I'm still fascinated by her account, Stefana Silber over on Instagram. She's like the queen of home decor. She has amazing finds and shares, and she is the Amazon queen as well. And she occasionally shares things that are not home decor related, like these earrings. So I have to give credit where credit is due and shout out to Stefana. I used your link to buy these. These are not diamond earrings and they're not cubic zirconia either. These are moissanite two carat earrings. I picked the round with the halo setting. There are also just round settings, square cut settings, square cut with halo, lots of options. And they're around 30 some odd dollars. So I think they're lab, they must be lab created moissanite, but they are so cool. And I wanna show you the box that they come in is possibly the neatest jewelry box I've ever received. And I am keeping it because it is just so cool. Unless I can find a way to get someone a pair of earrings in these. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you see how it opens up. But I had to start with these because these are really fun and very, very inexpensive. All right, now let's get on to the clothing. So first of all, if I forget to mention sizing or prices, everything will be down in the description box and per usual pinned to the top of the comments to make it easy for you to find. So I have sizing and pricing and links and all that down below. I'll put some info up here on the screen for you. I have stuff that you can wear now and I have a few pieces that are definitely gonna need some cooler weather, but I know some of you are already enjoying fall where you live, lucky you. So so maybe you'll get some use out of it right now. Onto the clothing. Number one, this tennis dress. So the whole tennis dress thing has been all over Instagram. And I love the idea of a one and done outfit. What I don't love about the tennis dress idea is that while it has built in shorts for modesty, coverage, and pockets, the going to the bathroom part, it's a whole other level. It's beyond a jumpsuit because usually these things have like padded bodices or bra in it so you don't need to wear a bra. So you really are completely bare tushy naked going to the bathroom and that's just too vulnerable for me. So I've been avoiding the tennis dress, but then I found these on Amazon. So the shorts come with it, but they are separate. They're just short little bike shorts and they coordinate with the color of the dress. And this comes in a ton of colors. I went with a very basic boring black and it has the pockets on either side that you could, I guess, put tennis balls in, but let's be real. Most of the people buying these have never held a tennis racket in their life. I'll be sticking my cell phone in there. What I love about it is that I can wear it now, but I can easily layer a sweatshirt or some sort of athletic jacket over it as the weather gets cooler and I can still wear it for a few months to come. So this does have the padded bodice, which is nice. You can skip a bra if you want. And I am wearing these with my brand new on cloud sneakers, which I have to say, absolutely love. I'm late to this party, but I really, really like them. They are so light. You don't even realize you're wearing shoes. The second dress I have to share with you is casual, not quite as casual as the tennis dress. I first saw this on a friend of mine who wore it to a luncheon that we attended earlier in the year. And I've actually had this for months and I've been meaning to share it with you, but it warmed up significantly where I am. And so I just never got around to pulling it off the hanger. Well now almost cooling down. And this is especially great if you are looking to find a cute little outfit to wear to a country music concert. I am personally looking forward to attending a lot more concerts in the fall as the weather cools down a little bit. It's really hard to go to outdoor concerts where I live this time of year. But this denim shirt dress, like all things Amazon, does come in other colors, but I love just the lighter wash denim here. It's not really denim, it's more of a chambray. So it's a lot more drapey and fluid, not as stiff as usual denim. I like the frayed detail on the cuffs and the hem. You can roll up the sleeve. This is gonna look good with all kinds of boots and booties. It'll look great over tights if things get a little bit cooler eventually. It's very versatile. I could even see wearing this over a pair of leggings. And because it's straight up and down, you could throw on a belt of your choice if you want to accessorize, or you could wear it open like a shorter length duster over maybe a tank and a pair of dark wash skinny jeans. This last dress that I have to share with you is very much a fall oriented dress and it's bringing in a couple of trends that we're seeing in fall 2023. This rich chocolate color is one of them. And then the crochet sweater dress look is something else that's starting to hit the shelves at, or I should say websites of a lot 
lot of retailers. This one is fully lined. The slip can be detached and the matching slip actually has adjustable straps for a more customizable fit, which I really appreciate. It is a sweater dress, but it isn't super, super heavy. I didn't feel overwhelmingly warm like I can in some sweater dresses that I've tried on. I really love the slight A-line shape to it. I feel like this is a nice modern take on a 60s, early 70s kind of silhouette. It's a lot of fun to wear, and I definitely could see wearing this in a whole tone on tone look with some chocolate brown tights and some higher tall boots. It'll be a whole look come this fall. But I could just as easily see it in a more conservative, even an office setting by switching out the boots or booties to some sort of tonal or nude toned pumps. If you've been on Amazon's website recently, you may notice that it's hard to find normal clothing sets are everywhere. Everything is a two-piece set. So I bought a few to share with you. So the first should look familiar because it was the number one bestseller for July. I'm bringing it back in August in a different color. This is the same knit set that you saw earlier. They called it the apricot shade. To me, it was beige with black trim. I kind of flipped it around. I got it in a black with more of an ivory trim. Same exact size, same brand. I feel like the black runs a little bit longer than the apricot. I don't know what kind of quality control we're getting over where it's made, but I just want to let you know for those of you who complained that the apricot was too long, you definitely want to skip the black. And if you needed something that ran a little bit longer, maybe you should try ordering it in the black. Other than that, it does run true to size. It doesn't have pockets. I wanted to show it to you a little more dressed up with a little bit of a heel. I love the easiness of this. I feel like it looks really elegant, kind of sophisticated, but it feels also like you're walking around in pajamas. Now this next set is a little more casual just because of the fabric. It's more of a waffle knit type fabric. The top has buttons that actually function. The bottoms also do not have pockets. I like both of these pieces separately. I can definitely see myself wearing the shirt, especially on its own paired with jeans. So if you're thinking of wearing this out and about or to travel somewhere, you can make that top do double duty at your actual destination. So I like that. I went with basic black in pretty much all of the sets. I just feel like it's easier to coordinate things with it, but I loved this set so much. I can see myself wearing this a lot during my work from home days when I know I'm not getting in front of the camera. And I can also see myself ordering this in multiple other colors. But for travel, I tend to go for the very neutral, especially black because it doesn't show dirt and things like that. And it wears a little bit easier. And I do have some travel plans this fall. So I did have that in mind when I ordered this, but I would say it runs true to size, a little more fitted in the hip area, but still true to size. And I'm wearing it in a size small. Of all the sets I'm sharing with you today, this one is my absolute favorite. I felt a little like, there was an Audrey Hepburn kind of 60s cool beatnik poetry vibe happening with this. Obviously, I think the mock neck and the fact that it's head to toe black with the cap toe quilted sneakers, those probably had something to do with it. But this fabric, it's really cool. It's a scuba knit. So it's not the scuba fabric that's more leans towards athletic wear. This is almost a combination of scuba and a knit fabric. So it feels really luxurious, really rich. Of course, it's Amazon, so we know it's very budget friendly. The joggers themselves are more fitted style. If you like a looser fit jogger, then you might want to size up. But I really think you'll be pleased if you just stick with your true size. Do not size down, though. I know on some Amazon things, they run super big. I would not recommend sizing down. It has a functional drawstring kind of ties at the neck if you wanna make the mock neck uh, more closed and then also at the drawstring waist. And these do have pockets, which I really appreciate. This last set is one I'm particularly on the fence about. So I know the 90s are back. I know a lot of you like myself lived through the first round and we're scratching our heads at what has made it back into fashion and, and honestly, what didn't. This is one of the things where I put the set on and I thought I should be in a 90s hip hop video. <laughs> okay, I think, I'm pretty sure these pieces were actually sold individually, check the description box. So I don't hate the hoodie sweatshirt. It's a cropped fit, I need you to know that. So you can plan accordingly with how you wanna wear it. There's a lot of high-waisted options out on the market right now, so it will pair very well with a lot of those. This is true thick, sweatshirt material. This is not the cute, thin, drapey sweatshirt sets of the 21st century, the 2020s even. This is old school, fleece lined, thick, bulky, warm sweatsuit type stuff here. So I would say if you like this, go with your true size on the top, wearing mine in a size small. I did feel that the sweatpants were very 
baggy. There's a lot of material in the thighs and I could have sized down one just so I had less material. I do not need any extra material around my hips, thighs, or butts, but just the one butt. So, you know, if you're built like me, you might want to skip the sweatpants, but then there's a whole bunch of you who are looking to add more curves and padding to that. So you may love these. That's why I show things that I don't necessarily love on myself. It may be exactly what one of you is looking for for your own closet. I do like the color a lot though, as all things Amazon, they come in a lot of colors and I believe there's like a neon green or neon yellow option because neon is coming back too. Now let's get to a handful of tops. This one I am super excited about. I love J. Crew and I will recommend things from J. Crew from time to time. In fact, the J. Crew cashmere wrap that I recommended earlier this month has been my number one best-selling product for all of August so far. So I was kind of surprised how well that took off. I have been eyeing a very similar looking, I think they call it the J. Crew lady sweater and I haven't pulled the trigger on it and then I saw this on Amazon. Is it exactly the same? I don't know, I haven't actually tried the J. Crew one out in person yet, but it's very much influenced by, it's a very similar style without the J. Crew price tag and it comes in a multitude of colors. The buttons on this are functional, I like the pockets, the knit itself is very soft. I think it's beautiful the way it is buttoned up. You could of course wear it layered over something. I will say in hindsight, I would not have paired it with these jeans. I love these jeans. These are one of my new pairs from The Gap, but I think it'll look nicer with something a little more looser fit, like one of the wide leg trousers that I like. So that's just personal styling tip. Also, you can get it in you know, a more neutral color, but I love this deep, beautiful green. This is gonna be a standout piece and something you're gonna see me style over and over and over, over on Instagram. This next sweater, same pants, jeans, same shoes, is a little more of a sophisticated take on a quarter zip sweater. So the only thing that makes this a little bit different is it has a little bit of a fitted sleeve right here that gives the sleeve a little bit of a balloon effect, which is just a different take, it makes it something that's pretty casual, but it's just a little more interesting to look at. The material is so, so very soft. I absolutely love this. This is another one where the hardest part about ordering this was picking which color. I love this beautiful camel. I think it will layer over a lot of things. It'll work well with all kinds of jeans, pants, etc. And I like that it's long enough. You could even wear it over leggings if you wanted to. Now the last top that I wanna share with you is another one that I'm kind of on the fence over. I like the pattern and of course with all things Amazon there's other options as well, but I like the blue and white stripe here. I don't think it looks too lengthening horizontally on me, but this again is not a modern take on a sweatshirt. This is 20th century style sweatshirt. It is old school, it is thick, it is heavy. It is lined in fleece and it is warm, which where I live is not something I'm going to reach for very often, but I know not all of you are lucky enough to live here in Texas with me. You might actually need something that keeps you warm. So I wanted to share this with you because that this one will definitely do the trick. I do like how it's cut and even though it's super thick, super heavy, super warm, it really doesn't feel or look all that bulky. I also think this is one you could easily size up one for more of an oversized look, maybe get a little more length and wear it over leggings. And then the last find for August that I wanted to share with you is another moto jacket. I have been a little anti-moto jacket and I'm starting to come around. I'm experimenting with different styles, different cuts and different weights. And what I like about this one is the exact reason why I generally didn't like moto jackets. Usually they're covered in hardware. It's a stiffer leather, or in my case, I usually am getting the faux leather, leather, whatever you want to call it, which doesn't really bend. It isn't really malleable. Well, obviously this is none of those things. It's a faux suede. It's very thin. It's very lightweight. I guess you could technically wear it as a jacket, just as another layer against some chill, but because it's really thin and it's a faux suede, I think this is really meant more as a layering piece. This is a great piece to have to take your current sundresses that you're wearing now and bring them into September, October, maybe even November by just layering it over it. And this one in particular comes in every color you could possibly imagine. When I think of a moto jacket, it's usually black. I mean, that's, that's the standout. And I just thought it'd be fun to get something a little different and I really like this cream color. It does zip up if you wanna wear it zipped up and the pockets are nicely placed and they have zippers on the sides as well. And I believe this one is currently on sale if I remember correctly. So I'm really pleased with it and I would get just your true size. I'm wearing mine in a size small. 
So those were my Amazon fashion finds for August 2023. I have a lot more in beauty and lifestyle, but I'm gonna save those recommendations for my August favorites that are coming up soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those because I found some goodies per usual. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun. Let me know if you have any questions about anything and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.